Hey guys, what's up? We're gonna call this part two of okay. the estate sale yeah. hall. We had to take a phone call really quick and uh, do some real estate stuff, but just wanted to go over these last few things that we bought part of our hall here. Um, you wanna start there? Yeah, these are Abercrombie and Fitch um, Congress playing cards. Old cellutones, probably from the 30s or 40s, I yep. think. Uh, we picked these up for four bucks and they probably will retail for somewhere around 75. Hopefully. They're pretty good, still new in the box. Another couple right here, playing cards, uh, KEM in the box, two uh, two sets of cards per box, old big light KEM boxes. This one's kind of a deco floral. Um, these guys, so these guys were eight bucks each. We got them for $4 and I think they'll retail probably 30 to 35 each on those guys right there. So a couple boxes of cards. Oh my God, you're gonna do the, the tiki dance with those guys? These are Paul's favorites. So. I just, I found these and I was kind of, uh, fell in love with them. They were part of the $1,200 haul too. Uh, they look like they belonged on like an empire chair to me or something like that. Um, they're really cool. I think they're, they're beautifully hand carved. You can see the faces are really different the way they're carved and you can tell that they're all hand carved in here with the way that their touches are right there. So they look like chair handles to me, but I think they would be very cool on a wall as decoration. Um, probably I would say, I don't know, 30s, 20s. Do you know anything about these kinds of stuff? Like if it was on an old empire chair or something, I think just the way they were cut, they were probably on a chair. Um, we found these really cool um, daily dillies. It's a like a daily um, calendar slash journal with some super funny things inside. Um, they're from the 1960s. We've got one, two, three, four of them. All not used. All never used. Um, they're actually quite. They're, they're kind of raunchy. They're very they're racy. Little, yeah. They're very racy. They're very. Uh, <laughs> show them this. I can't show them that on TV. Why? Because let's find a tame one. Um, <laughs> when I said I'd never done it before, I meant get married. Uh, what are the other? They're all they're all comedic. Uh, that's the trouble with our romance, Jessica. You lost the old spirit of the chase. Uh, I have no idea what that means. Uh, model we know is so proud of her figure that every time she moves, she sends a change of address cards to Peeping Tom. So anyways, a little bit risque, a little bit racy yeah. on these guys. Fun, fun. Um, at two bucks each. I have no idea really how much they were worth. Did you even look one up? Yeah. So how much are they worth? I'm not talking. How much are they worth? I don't know. Tell the people how much they're worth. They're probably worth fifty bucks a piece. I don't know how much they're worth, but we'll <laughs> find out. So we got four of those guys right there. Um, Forty dollars on this guy, so he would have been half price. So we paid twenty bucks for this old uh, scallop Damari charger. Uh, this and Rose Famille. Um, the way you can tell that these are the older ones from the 19th century or the 1800s, they have no markings on the bottom whatsoever. They don't say China. All you can see is the pottery uh, like air marks down here usually. When you see that kind of stuff, it usually dates them back to the 19th century or the late, like mid to late 1800s. So this one right here for 20 bucks. Um, does have a little bit of a scratch here and there on it, but I still think we can probably get 80 to $120 on this, even in the condition he's in. It's a pretty little pattern. And since everybody's into mushrooms these days, um, this is a very, very rare book called Songs from Around a Toadstool Table. Um, it's a first edition of a new release uh, from, what did I, I forgot the year, I forgot the year, 1930 to 1937. Um, but this is a really rare cover. It's in awesome condition for its age. Super cute. We picked that up for two bucks. Uh, next thing right here, we got the oh, fan right. tell, the fan that tells your fortune uh, from Granger Ferris Limited in Montreal. So a little fortune telling um, tarot card kind of game. It's uh, unfortunately missing the directions, but it looks like all the fan pieces are there. We paid five dollars for this right here. I have no idea what we'll even get for it, but if I, like for five bucks, it was kind of unique. Even if uh, someone's looking for some parts for some, you know, one that's like maybe incomplete. So we've got that one there for five bucks. We gotta get closer oh to the camera God. for this. And one. You got so I don't even know come what these are because I can't even find them anywhere. But these were made in Germany. We paid $5 for both of them. So on this one right here, it says the largest oh. ass in the world. And these were made in Germany. So I'm, I don't can I say it? Like ass is in donkey, but yeah. largest ass in the world. It's got a little mirror there so you can look at yourself because you would be the largest ass in the world. And on the back side, it says the smallest ass in the world. And it's got a little donkey figurine in there. So I don't know if you can see that both of these, they're kind of celluloid. They say Germany down here on the bottom. I have no idea what these are. Some kind of gag gift from back in the day. So 
this then, one says the largest cock in the world. Like chicken cock. No, we're not being. This Look, is a. This is a. The, oh, oh my God! You dropped the. It fell out. <laughs> Anyways, but same idea, same thing from uh, Germany. So got a mirror on one side. So the, the smallest, largest. the smallest cock in the world is your picture because you're looking That's at yourself. A, oh, that is it. Is that yeah. what it is? It's on yeah. the smallest side. Well, you can flip that over. Oh, I, I guess can go it could on be flipped. Side, so. Oh, Anyways, it is flipped. Little fun, ridiculous things from Germany. I have no idea what these are, what they're even worth. I can't even find another one. If you know anything about these, uh, let us know what you think on those guys right there. Um, what Put else that cock got? back in its bag. Okay. Other thing right here, got a little hand painted Russian box. These are pretty. Uh, seen a lot of these in my time. I don't really know what they're worth, but for eight dollars, for four dollars, little hand painted Russian trinket box. Maybe some earrings, necklace, or something like that. Lacquer, um, you know, lacquer box. Four dollars. I have no idea what it's worth. A cheese grater, the Wonder Shredder. Um, I love these, so we're keeping this for our kitchen. Five bucks. We got it for two fifty. It's staying here with us. Okay, and then you got, um, I always buy these old books whenever I can find them. They're kind of cool. So uh, anything that's like pet related or like bird or flower, they seem to sell pretty well. Got training gun dogs to retrieve. This is actually a first edition. You got a $2.95 price point, so it's not a book club edition. Um, by Field and Stream, outdoor series, stated first edition on the inside cover, and this is from 1952. So we paid a dollar for this. It was um, two bucks for a buck. I had no idea what it's worth. I gotta think at least oh, 20 or 30 plus, maybe a little more, but a little, uh, little hunting dog book there. Maybe this is too promiscuous to show it everybody too. Uh, the long tail, that's gonna be a bird right there. So this book of uh, baby birds right here is in pretty good shape. They had $10 on it, which means we picked it up for $5. Um, still have no idea what it's worth. I think it's probably in the, got to be in the $50, $60 range. Maybe even a little bit better. I don't know. Some of these books get up there quite a bit. Looks like it does have a tear, unless this was from a different book. I'll have to um, kind of check. It was probably from this. It's got some baby birds, but it looks like maybe the front cover was torn out. Uh, another book right here. This is from 1885, Beauty of Tennyson. This is going to be, I think, a poetry book. Poetry book, it is seam split right here, so the binding is not holding on these, but if you were from 1885, I don't think your binding would be holding anymore <laughs> either. Um, so leather covered right here, I don't have any idea what this is worth, but for 250, I was gonna take a chance. Um, I don't know, maybe 30, 40, 50, maybe more. So little guy right there, Do and wanna, um, you talked about yeah, the mushroom book. Yeah, we talked book. about the mushroom book. Do we so, wanna talk about this beauty so right let's here? let's talk about this beauty right here. So we're gonna unwrap, oh, you know, let's talk about the table first. Okay. So first thing we got up right here, so this is from a different estate sale, but we picked this up this weekend. It's a 1970s solid brass master craft table with the Greek key design right here. Um, we picked this up on half price for $275. Uh, hopefully we'll get, and you see some of them on Cherish for $1,400. You can get a first dibs and pay $4,000 for one if you want. Uh, we'll probably try to get $750 to $1,000 for it just because I don't want to store it. And I don't want to hold on to it for a long time. So solid brass uh, master craft table. And okay, then I'm this like, one over I'm like, here. I'm like Vanna White right now. Okay, I'm gonna maybe walk this over to you. So this piece right here we paid $120 for on half off day. I think it is absolutely stunning. I, I don't know, it's got, um, we're not gonna unwrap all the shelves, but yeah. it does have four glass shelves that go inside of it. Paid $120 for it. If you, I'm gonna try to walk you over there so you can kind of see the finish on it. Um, it's all kind of, I don't know if it's tiger wood, but it's all solid. It's not veneer. It's got the little, um, I'll show you from this side. It's got the art deco pieces on the side with the little, uh, kind of scroll work. It's just a really, really beautiful, beautiful piece. And I think the ring light thing is going out here. Um, love the little door right here. So it's all dovetailed. It's all pretty, pretty old. Um, you can see by the, See flat by the uh, flathead. Yeah, so it, it, it is just an amazing piece for $120. The wood is absolutely stunning. I don't I don't know what we can get for this, um, but for 120 bucks, I decided to take a chance on it. I think we can do at least four to six hundred on that little china cabinet. Yeah. It's in really good shape. So we love that guy right here. And then kind of let's see if I can get this set back up. As a grand finale, what else do we have? Are we kind of through everything? We didn't we didn't do this one yet. So Oh, and the Bye Bye Birdie. Yeah, so this guy right here, we paid um, $20 for it. She had it marked 100 because she thought it was bronze. It's got some rubbing on the knees, so I think it might just be pot metal in a bronze tone or something like that. There's no signature. It is on a granite base right here, kayaker. Um, she looks to be 
probably in the 40s or 30s, somewhere right there. I don't know what we're going to ask for this, but I think we can get 50, 60 bucks for it, and then you know, plus shipping. So. And the detail uh, on the detail on the feet and the shoes and everything is incredible. And then, uh, oh, so here's another garage sale find. We found this at the same garage sale as, as the, the little jar and the Gloria Vanderbilt book. And the Gloria Vanderbilt book. So they had this for 10 bucks. Um, I don't know much about it, although it is completely cast signed by Tommy Toon. So it's an original from the 90s, from the original cast of Bye Bye Birdie. Um, completely signed. It looks like every cast member is on here. So this is Tommy Toon's signature up here. And then it's also starring Marilyn Cooper. This is Marilyn Cooper's signature right here. And then you've got uh, Lenora, was that Nemitz? Nemitz, or whatever, Lenora Nemitz, I think. And her signature is right here. Yeah. So the three main cast members are in here. And there's also another, excuse me, Tommy Toon signed a little picture down here that I don't know if that's from a different one, but I think this picture alone could be worth like 50, 60 bucks. And uh, on the whole cast signed uh, from the 90s, I'm thinking maybe 200 to 300, somewhere on that guy right there. So completely signed by the whole entire cast for 10 bucks. And then I think <coughs> that's about everything. So for the grand finale, we did find these guys right here. The grand um, finale. I'm going to be very careful with them because they are super rare. We paid, uh, this was part of the $1,200, so this was also in that 50% off range. I don't know how much we paid for all of it. It was $1,200. They were marked $1,800 for three of them. I'm going to butcher this name, but it looks like it's Frode Banson for Pulse House. Uh, 1950s, 1960s stoneware. It is marked on the bottom just so you can kind of see and they're really heavy. I mean, it, it's a big piece in the brown. Uh, Paul's house right there, Denmark. I think these were... Because uh, this is Paul's house. I can't find any of these even sold because I think they're pretty rare. Um, I found a few of them online. They go from anywhere from $600 to $700. Some of the bigger ones go for a little bit more. So we found three of these guys. We're going to be very... And the guy who them. didn't get them was really, really, really... Yeah, nervous. there was one guy behind <laughs> us that wanted them, and he didn't get them, and he was a little upset. Um, he threw a little bit of a fit in there. But we got them, and we were able to bring them home. And there's three of them, and they're all marked, and uh, I think they're pretty rare. So you got the bigger one, you got the smaller one that kind of matches that guy. And then there's the third So those two go together, and then there's this third one right here. And I'm going to wrap these back up super fast. So I think we can get probably about 600 bucks for each one of these, um, somewhere between five and 700. Let's just call it that. If you know anything about these, uh, please feel free to IM us or leave a message. But there's also this one right here, a little green one with the wider. There is a little like imperfection up here. I think it's a factory imperfection, but no cracks, no crazing on these guys, all oh. in a pretty perfect condition. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, so that's it. So Paul House, all marked on the bottom. So they're all authentic. Um, pretty cool find. I don't think these are uh, readily available, and I think that is about it, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, you guys, let us know what you think about our fun finds. Don't knock over those vases. I'm not. <laughs> we hope to see you next time, yes. and then we'll bring you some souls. Keep following us, and we'll keep showing you what we find. Absolutely. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.